So many of you who watched this video and told me that you cannot find your fake controller name. In this video I will show you another solution on how to fix it. So what you want to do is just first thing you want to plug in your USB cable, your controller. Uh, then the next thing you want to do is just open a start menu and uh, type SCP Toolkit Monitor. So open it and it will open up but minimized and then open it. Um, here you will see a section uh, with your USB charging and then you will see these uh, numbers. Uh, DS3 and then some numbers. That's your MAC address and what you want to do is write down the first uh, six letters or numbers. So I will write here AO5 A5C. Uh, the rest isn't needed. So the next thing you want to do is just open the SCP toolkit directory and find SCP control configuration settings again you wanna make sure that uh, you allowed your full control so you can edit the configuration settings with uh, notepad the next thing you wanna do is open it and here you will see a section called wallet mac addresses used by Sony so you just wanna add a new section at the end called genuine mac address space uh, equal space and then you wanna just copy your mac address and save it then what you want to do is just unplug the controller and you know plug in your Bluetooth adapter and as you can hear it actually works uh, by just uh, using a MAC address without a supported name if this didn't work for you then maybe you're having a totally another problem and thanks catch you for giving an idea for this video